Hi friends, it's Tiki Loves. Let's talk a little bit about uh, cons and cosplays. So um, I went to Collective Con back in March. It's in Jacksonville, Florida. And um, I went to Collective Con solely, for the most part, to get autographs from Christina V and Bryce Pappenbrook. I also wanted to go to the Miraculous panel that they were would be holding. It was about an hour long. I have video of it on my YouTube, so check that out if you want to. Um, that con, I stood in line a lot to be able to get those signatures and to be able to meet them. It was amazing. I loved it. Um, there, there are so many people I got to meet and talk with and everything else and for it to be a con it was my first con in a long while to go to and it was a great experience i loved it and i um i was ladybug the whole time i cosplayed ladybug the whole time i did not change and i only went the one day unfortunately i wanted to go more but i didn't get to um so that was amazing it was a great experience to go and be able to stand in line and get their signatures and be able to meet them. Um, I did realize that it was a long wait to stand in line. And next time I will probably, if I want signatures, I will probably go for like a VIP pass. So I can go through the VIP line and not take as long and be able to experience the rest of the con some because I didn't get to walk around the exhibitors hall or do any other panels or anything else that day uh, that I was at Collective Con. It was a good experience though, like I said. Um, now the difference is I just got back from Wasabi Con, uh, again in Jacksonville, Florida, and um, I did not go for signatures this time. There was nobody that I wanted signatures. There were some cool voice actors that I've I've watched in animes and um, also the voice actor for Ash Ketchum from Pokemon was there as well. That was cool to see her and um, I did not go to meet her or anything but it was cool to see her and the other voice actors. Um, the first half of the day I cosplayed this time as Zero Two from Darling in the Franks and um, I, bar I had barely inter any interaction with other cosplayers. No one really talked to me and that's okay. I had a fun time. I got to walk around the exhibit hall and um, went outside this go time. Uh, Collecticon, I didn't get to go outside a whole lot because I was inside waiting. Um, so this time I got to go outside and I got to check out the food trucks. I had a Korean corn dog for the first time. It was deliciously amazing. I love it and I really want another one. Um, and then after that, um, I went half day and I changed into Ladybug. I did my Ladybug cosplay for the second half of the day until it was time to time for time to leave. And um, the funny thing about that was halfway driving to Jacksonville, I realized, thank you to um, Miraculous Jam? I might have just said that wrong. I might cut this. Um, when they texted, messaged me on what cosplays I was going to wear, I messaged back and then right after I sent it, I had a realization that I forgot my ladybug mask at home. I had everything else for my cosplay. I had um, my Cat Noir keychain plush to go on my backpack, so I had a Cat Noir with me. I had everything I needed for the cosplay and I forgot my mask at home. But the funny thing about that was a lot of people would be like, oh my god, it's Marinette. And I'm like, shh, I'm hiding, I'm not Marinette. Um, or like, oh my god, it's Ladybug. I'm like, shh, I'm Marinette, I'm hiding. You know, I would just change it up. I would have fun with it. It was, it was fun. 
and to have the kids reactions and get hugs from kids and I actually um, got to re-meet one child who was at Collective Con and um, talked to me almost the whole day throughout the day and everything. She was actually at Wasabi Con again and uh, we got to meet, got to take a picture this time and um, it was fun and I've already talked to her parents. I'm hoping to be able to see her again at Collective Con 2024. Um, she's a fun little girl. And um, just the experience alone going to the cons was amazing. It's two different experiences because one, I pretty much stood there all day, went to one panel and stood there again waiting for signatures. The other con, I got to walk around, got to interact more, got to go outside, check out the food trucks, and all kinds of stuff. But they were both good experiences. I love that I have both of those and I can be able to talk to with other people and um, show that just because you have one experience at one con, the next time you go to a con or even the same con the next year, your experience can be different. Now I can say I am hoping to be able to go to Collective Con 2024. It is their 10 year anniversary. So I'm hoping to be able to go celebrate that with them. Um, they also have announced that, I always say his name wrong, but uh, Max Middleman, I think I said that right that time. Uh, Max Middleman, the voice actor for a lot of anime characters, but he's also the voice actor for our awesomely favorite little Kwam Black Kwame Plague. So I'm hoping to be able to go and meet him and possibly get his signature for I don't know what. Um, I'm going to have to find something Plague for him to sign if I'm able to get to it. Um, and that's not far away, so I guess I got to start looking now. Um... So, yeah, come March, I'll be able to have um, some more con content and everything. I don't have anything for Wasabi Con. Um, like, uh, in March for Collective Con, before all the autographs started and everything, right when the exhibit hall opened, I kind of got videos just walking around a little bit, um, checking out some of the booths and all. That's, I believe, only on my YouTube, maybe on my TikTok as well, if y'all want to check that out. Um, but I had so much fun at WasabiCon, I literally forgot. And I was actually going to go live at one point at WasabiCon. I was planning to go live at one point at WasabiCon. And... I was just having so much fun and interacting with everyone and being in the moment, I forgot. I forgot to go live, I forgot to take any videos um, or pictures. I have a, a few here and there I can post. Um, I do have a video of my husband doing a dance to get a sticker, which was hilarious. Um, and stuff like that. It's not a whole lot, but I will post more pictures of my Zero Two cosplay that I wore the morning time. And I only have a few pictures from when I went to leave because, again, I was busy. I forgot um, of my Ladybug cosplay with no mask. Um, but I did wear the wig this time, so it's a little bit different from when I wore my Ladybug cosplay in uh, at Collective Con. So, um, I will post all that. I do have another video. I don't know if it's out or if I'm going to post it after this. It'll be of uh, the merch that I got from Collective, uh, from WasabiCon. I didn't really get to buy a whole lot from CollectiveCon, but I did buy quite a bit from Was WasabiCon. And um, about half of it is miraculous stuff. Sorry, I'm looking at it all laid out right here. And, um... There is a few anime items and stuff. Um, and like I said in that video, I'll say it here. I will post pictures of everything that I got. And I will tag what shops that I can that I have their uh, cards and information. Um, so, yeah. And uh, if anybody is anywhere near Jacksonville, Florida or can travel to it, um, 
and want to meet me at a con, let's go. Let's meet. I want to meet people. I like to meet people, um, especially people that I've talked to. Y'all are amazing, and um, I hope to meet quite a few of y'all one day. Okay, so I hated the ending that I did for this video, so I'm going to do it again, but uh, bye friends!